Welcome to the installation video of the Kurt 16448 custom fifth wheel bracket kit on the 2010 Ford F350 short bed. We estimate this installation to take between two and four hours depending on your level of expertise. Here are the tools that we use to complete the install. Plastic bed liners must be removed to maintain metal to metal contact between the mounting rails and truck bed. To provide adequate room beneath the vehicle, lower and remove the spare tire. Place one of the mounting rails in the back of the bed. Using a tape measure, position the rearward facing side of the rail at a distance of 54 and 3 16 from the rear edge of the bed. Be sure that you are not measuring from the end of the tailgate. Being careful not to lose the previous measurement, use the tape measure to center the rail in between the weld seams of the truck. Recheck each measurement twice before proceeding to the next step. Using the rail as a template, mark and center punch the rearmost attachment holes. Before drilling, position the side plate on the outside of the frame and check that the punches from the previous step line up with the slots in the side plate. For illustration purposes, we have marked the punch temple to increase visibility. Now that you have checked the alignment, drill the punched holes with an eighth inch drill bit. Use the step drill to enlarge each hole to 9 16 It is a good idea to use a touch-up paint as a rust preventative. Next you will install the side plates. Depending on your year and model, hole enlargement or drilling will be required. Starting on the driver's side, use the side plate as a template and mark the drilling location on the frame. Take precautions not to damage any fuel lines or electrical harnesses on the back side of the frame. Since this model required drilling a new hole into the frame, we suggest using a small starter hole to prevent the larger bit from wandering. Always use a greaser lubricant to prevent from damaging your drill bit. Drill a 5 8 inch hole into the frame. Repeat this process on the opposing side. Attach each side plate by inserting the 5 8 hex bolts from inside of each frame rail and secure them with the hex flange nuts. Tighten firmly to keep the side plates from moving. Before attaching the mounting rail, install the U-shaped spacers between the box and the side plate at the 9 16 attachment points. They must be positioned in the raised section of the corrugated rib of the box to ensure metal-to-metal -metal contact. Position the mounting rail over the previously drilled holes, then insert the half-inch by two-inch carriage bolts and secure them with the hex flange nuts. Next, we'll position the rear mounting rail. To get the exact location, place your hitch product into the already installed rail. Then position the second mounting rail by inserting the tabs into the slots and pushing the rail tightly towards the front of the vehicle. This can be done using a gooseneck adapter plate, unassembled fifth wheel, or a fifth wheel roller depending on the hardware you have available. Take measurements to ensure that the mounting rail is centered between the weld seams of the truck bed. Using the rail as a template, mark and center punch the rearmost attachment holes. Before drilling, remove the fifth wheel roller and mounting rail. Drill the marked holes with an eighth inch bit, then enlarge them to 9 16. On this specific vehicle, we were unable to use the step drill because it was necessary to drill through a section of the bed support. Again, use touch-up paint as a rust preventative. Using the same process as the front rail, install the U-shaped spacers, carriage bolts, and flange nuts to secure the rear rail. Next, we will finish securing the side plates. Before drilling, be sure to take precautions not to damage any fuel lines or electrical harnesses on the back side of the frame. Starting on the driver's side, use the side plate as a guide and enlarge the front mounting hole with a 916 bit. Once the hole is drilled to the correct size, fish wire the spacer and half inch by inch and a quarter carriage bolt through the back side of the frame and side plate. Gently pull the bolt through the side plate and attach it with the half inch flange nut. Repeat this process on the passenger side. 
Next, cinder punch and drill the remaining four holes in the truck bed to finish the mounting rails. Drill the holes with an eighth inch drill bit and then enlarge them using a 916 bit. Again, use the touch-up paint as a rust preventative. Insert the remaining U-shaped spacers, carriage bolts, and flange nuts. Starting with the mounting rails, torque all half-inch fasteners to 75 foot-pounds. Next, torque down the side plates starting with the half-inch fasteners to 75 foot-pounds, and finally the 5 8 fasteners to 150 foot-pounds. Reinstall the spare tire. You're now ready to assemble and install your fifth wheel hitch. This completes the installation video of the Kurt 16448 custom fifth wheel bracket kit on the 2010 Ford F350 short bed. For more information on these products, visit KurtMFG.com. Kurt, the first name in towing products.